So we're going to go ahead and do two more examples uh, to round out chapter 8. Okay, so our next problem is number 13. Okay, and the problem says the nutritional formula Sustacal is supplied in 10 ounce cans. And the question is, how would you prepare 40 ounces of a half strength Sustacal solution? Okay, so if the strength is half strength, uh, what that means is is that you have uh, one part of the pure sustical. Okay, so one part sustical. Okay, in two parts solution, right? Two parts solution. Okay, so if we want to know uh, how, how many ounces of Sustacal that we need to make a half strength solution of 40 ounces, right? Let's take 40 ounces. Okay, and multiply that by one half. Okay, this is pretty obvious, right? 40 times one half. Okay, and we're going to get that we're going to need. 20 ounces. So we can verify this. So 40 times 1 divided by 2. Okay, meaning we need 20 ounces of pure Sustacal. Alright, and because we want 40 ounces of solution, right? So we're basically going to add 20 ounces of water to 20 ounces of Sustacal okay, to obtain 40-ounce okay, half-strength solution. All right, and that's how you would prepare it, right? So take 20 ounces of Sustacal, right? So take two 10-ounce cans. You pour them in another container, and then you would add 20 ounces of water, mix it up, and then you would have your your 40 ounces of half strength Sustacal solution. So essentially, what you do for this type of problem, right, is you take the amount of solution that you're given, okay, multiply by the strength, whether it's a half strength, or two thirds strengths, or three fifths strengths, right. So multiply that by the amount of solution to get the amount of solute, or pure nutritional supplement that you need and then add the appropriate amount of water to that to get the amount of, the amount of solution that you're given. Okay, so the next problem we're going to do is um, like number 19 in your homework. So this is number 19 in your homework. Okay, so I'm going to do a similar problem so that you know how to do this problem. Okay, so this is our last example. And it says a drug has a strength of 75 milligrams per milliliter, and we want to write the strength as a ratio, fractioned, and as a percent. Okay, so this is clearly a dry solute uh, in solution. Okay, so in order to properly express the strength of this drug as a ratio, fraction, and percent, okay, we need we need to have the appropriate units in our strength. Okay, so let's start by writing this as 75 milligrams in one milliliter. All right, and the first thing we need to do is convert the milligrams into grams. Okay, so for, for any solution with a dry solute, 
Okay, the units of strength are grams per, milli per milliliter. Okay, so we're going to take 75 and divide it by 1,000. Okay, alternatively, you can take 75 and move the decimal point three places to the left. Right, so you're going to divide by 1,000 milligrams per gram. And we're, going to, we're going to get that, that, that that's equal to 0 0.075. Okay, so the strength of the solution would be 0 0.075 grams in one milliliter. All right, so now the question becomes, so what, what do we do with this? Because this is uh, not a normal fraction, right? Because you have this decimal in the numerator. So a normal fraction has a whole number in the numerator and a whole number in the denominator. So one thing we can do is, um, since we've got this decimal in the numerator, right, we can move the decimal point one, two, three places to the right. Okay, so the question is, so why do we move it three places? Right, why, why not two or one place? Okay, so basically I want to turn this into a whole number. Okay, so I want to move the decimal point to the right until I get a whole number. So if I, if I move it once, it becomes 0.75. If I move it again to the right, it becomes 7.5. But if I move it a third time, I get the number 75. Okay, so, okay, so let's move the decimal to the right three places in the numerator, okay, to get 75 grams. Okay, which, which is a whole number. All right, now to keep the fraction the same though, right, I've got to do the same thing in the denominator, right? If I move the decimal point three places to the right in one milliliter, okay, so remember there, there is an invisible decimal point, right, after that one. So if I take one, move the decimal point three places to the right, okay, that one milliliter now becomes a thousand milliliters, okay? Okay, so do the same thing in the denominator, okay, to get 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so we now get a fraction where both the numerator and denominator are whole numbers, okay, and then the units are still intact. Okay, so unfortunately I can't write that out, but Okay, imagine moving the decimal point three places to the right in the top number and then three places to the right in the bottom number. Okay, so we obtain the fraction 75 grams over a thousand milliliters. Okay, and this is a fraction that we can actually simplify. So once we have the simplified fraction, uh, we can then write the ratio and then get the percentage. Okay, so in other words, so we first had to convert uh, the strength into grams per milliliter, which we did here. Okay, and realizing that we have this decimal in the numerator, okay, we move the decimal point, the appropriate number of places to the right until you get a whole number. Okay, and then in the, it, even though the de denominator is a whole number, we do the same thing, right? We move the decimal point, the same number of places to the right in the denominator to keep the fraction the same. Okay, so again, once again, if you have a calculator that can handle fractions, right, you can type in 75 over a thousand. Right, or 75 divided by a thousand and then convert it into a fraction, okay, or just simplify by hand, okay, so so as a simplified fraction, right, we get um, three grams, okay, three grams in 40 milliliters, okay, so 40 milliliters of the solution will have three grams of the salt, okay, so uh, so once we simplify, we don't need the grams and milliliters there anymore, right? We can leave those off, right? So as a fraction, the solution is three to uh, three fortieths or three over forty. Okay. So once we have the simplified fraction, then the ratio would simply be three to forty, right? Three parts solute and forty parts solution. Okay. And then to get the percent, we're going to take that simplified fraction, so th three divided by forty on our calculator, get the decimal. And then multiply it by 100. Okay, so you get that 0 0.075 multiplied by 100. 
So in other words, this is a 7.5% 7, 7 solution. Okay, let's write that out. So multiplied by 100%, and this is equal to 7.5%. Okay, and that completes uh, the last example that we're going to do from Chapter 8. Thank you for watching.